What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Somehow we've added like 7,000 subscribers in like five days. My mind is blown. So thank you for that. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, ring that bell. And if you're already subscribed, you're getting a Christmas card. I am putting money in it though. We've all been in a similar situation before. You go to a restaurant, you eat the big plate of chicken Alfredo, the boneless wings, whatever. Afterwards, you're stuffed, you're miserable. The waiter walks over and says, dessert anyone? And you're like, yes. They bring it out, you eat that, then you're done. Crawl into the woods, find a cave somewhere, curl up in a ball and hibernate like a bear. It's over. But today, we're gonna change that, man. We're gonna make our dessert work for us. The anabolic chocolate chip pizuki. The best desserts all crushed into one. Chocolate chip cookie, ice cream, chocolate syrup, enough protein to make Arnold Schwarzenegger blush. As always, if you have the RJF cookbook, link in description, it has been updated along with even more recipes. So go re-grab your copy. You get it one time, just once, and every future update is free, man. That's one heck of a bargain. With this handy guide, you'll eating delicious food and making gains at the same time. So if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah. Mixing bowl, food scale. As always, you gotta have them. Don't go eyeballing this because your recipe is gonna turn out like poop. First ingredient we're gonna need is pumpkin. 244 grams of pumpkin. Lots of fiber here, very filling. A great base in a lot of dessert recipes and you won't even taste it. Grab a canopener and split the top. Pro tip, you will find canned pumpkin in the baking section at your grocery. It won't be with the other vegetables or beans. So we need 244 grams. If you're opposed to buying the pumpkin, just carve some jack-o'-lanterns out of seed and keep the innards. You'll have some pumpkin and you can be the creepy neighbor on the block all at the same time. And you're gonna have some leftover pumpkin. Don't let it go to waste, man. Throw it in a Tupperware container and use it later. See, there was still quite a bit of pumpkin left in there. Litter up, throw it in the fridge. Now we just need 138 grams of liquid egg whites. Once again, you won't taste the egg whites, but it's gonna add a lot of protein, make this thing more anabolic, a little more voluminous. Now we just need 62 grams of a whey protein powder. Don't use vegan. This recipe will come out funny. You already know what I'm using, man. That Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. I'm a little biased. But use whatever brand you want, man. I'd recommend of vanilla if you want it to be more cookie-like. I mean, throw chocolate in there, throw strawberry in there. It's, it's all gonna be good. We are almost sold out again. We got more coming, but I can't guarantee it'll be in stock soon. So if you've been wanting to try it, check out finalbossformance.com. Use code RJF10 for 10% off or it's on amazon.com with free shipping, baby. Actually, it's probably sold out on there, but the website is good. Now go ahead and toss in 15 grams of a white flour. A little bit of flour goes a long way, man. It'll make this thing rise. It'll get huge. Kind of like you if you follow this diet. Now this step's optional. Some people are worried about artificial sugars. But me, I like my food sweeter, so I'm gonna throw them in. We need five grams of this stuff, man. Like I said, no negative effects here. Other than the alarming rate at which my back hair is growing, it's been all good. Then lastly, we're gonna toss in two grams of baking powder. Once again, we want this to have SpongeBob inflatable arms. It's gonna be huge. Once everything's in the bowl, go in with a whisk and just mix her all up, man. Don't be afraid to get a little rough with it. Best part about this batter is it's down for anything and you don't gotta worry about a consent form. And once you're done, it should be smooth and look like this. Once your batter's done, now we're really ready to get to bacon. Since it's a bazooki, I will be using a small little cast iron skillet for visual effect. Use any oven safe baking dish you want, but I'm doing this because you gotta have a good thumbnail. Gotta be authentic. And if I don't do those two things, you guys don't watch the video nor hit the thumbs up button. Stuff costs money, but you guys are worth it. So go ahead and just hit whatever you're baking it with with some nonstick spray. And then we'll just go in and move our batter all into our pan. I'm telling you guys, don't underestimate this recipe. You got a sweet tooth, this will crush it. You wanna eat a dessert and feel full and satisfied after because of the fiber, this'll do it. You wanna pass that ACT exam with a perfect score? Eh, this won't do that. And since you're putting all the work in, in the kitchen, the spoils are yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always say, if the batter tastes good, you're on the right track. Once all your batter's in the pan, go ahead and just kinda smooth out the top here. Make it kinda smooth all over. You don't gotta do this, but I got a thumbnail to take. And you gotta make sure it's pretty too, that way when you tag me on Instagram, I actually share it. Some of you have made French toast sticks that look like dog turds. I can't put that on my story. Come on, man. 
Now just get you a food scale and weigh out about seven grams of sugar-free chocolate chips. And then take those chips and decorate the top of your pizookie. Now you can either like sit it on there. I'm not a fan of that. I like to push it down in, right? Or you just grab it and just, ooh, that was way too deep. Don't throw it that hard, but just a little, you know, a little toss in there. Don't get it right where you need it, bud. And once our bazooki is done, all we gotta do is throw it in the oven at 350 degrees for anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes. I like 30 minutes myself. As you guys know, I like my desserts to be soft, moist, moist. But if you want it a little firmer, 35. Can't really go wrong with either one. Toss her in there. Set up timer. And I'm telling you, once this is done, you're in for an anabolic treat. And boom, guys, Pizuki is finished. She smells amazing, looks beautiful, and is really ready to eat right now. But first, we gotta add the topping. Only thing she's missing is about 85 grams of ice cream, specifically Halo Top Vanilla. In my opinion, this is the best vanilla ice cream you're gonna find, calorie-wise, macro-wise, fiber-wise, protein-wise, flavor-wise. Go ahead and put that right on there. A little more. You get quite a bit of ice cream in this one, guys, and Perfect. And now the only thing she's missing is some sugar-free chocolate syrup. And boom, anabolic Pizuki Sunday. A real life food for the gods. Well, the ice cream's melting because I gotta get a good thumbnail. You know the drill. But I wanna show you guys real quick before I dig into this, basically the texture of this thing. Get down in here, lift her up. Ooh, baby. Look at that, man. Soft, fluffy like a cookie. Chocolate chips in there. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on this one. We've been talking long enough. My ice cream is melting. Let's get to the taste test. Okay, guys, it's go time. One thing that I always say about the way that I eat, the recipes in my cookbook, how I like to do things. I'm a foodie. I love food. Always have, always will. Growing up, the highlight of the week was going out to dinner as a family and ordering pizza and doing all that. And for a while with fitness, I thought I had to give that up. But lo and behold, they were all wrong, baby. We can still enjoy our food, have a good time doing it, take a few photos for the gram, and everybody wins, baby. And as you can see, no small portion sizes here. We eat around here. We eat, we get full, we enjoy it. Let me get in here, let me get a big bite. I want some ice cream, I want some chocolate chips. All right, here we go, guys. A little bit of everything, you ready? Three, two, one, let go. Wow, once again, we have made magic happen. Ooh, nom, nom. Without the ice cream, without the chocolate syrup, this thing is still great. We add all that together, legit, man. I'm telling you, you really don't taste pumpkin. You don't. See, and look at it, man, it's thick, it's dense. You don't just eat one brownie and then you're done and there goes all your macros, you have a ton of sugar, you're craving more and it takes everything you have and all the cheap for the rest of the day. Eat something big like this, satisfied. Tons of protein, you can't lose, man. You can't lose. Wow, get a little bit more in here. Honest question. If I made this for you, would you eat it? If the answer to that question is yes, then you can burn fat, build muscle, and enjoy it all at the same time. It's that easy, man. So in this entire recipe, and that's every single ingredient, ice cream, chocolate chips, pumpkin, you only have 616 calories, eight grams of fat, 73 grams of protein, 63 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fiber. That fiber is gonna help keep us full, that protein is gonna help keep us anabolic, and I dare you to compare this bazooki to any bazooki on any restaurant menu ever. I mean, just the ice cream in some of those recipes would uh, put you over this one. And not even be a fraction as anabolic. Oh, right. And like I always say, man, you can eat half, save it for later. Double the ingredients, make a double batch. The world's your oyster, man. My cookbook and these recipes are just giving you the tools, man. Once you do this a couple times and you learn, it's like riding a bike. You might need mommy to hold you the first few times with the training wheels. And after a few laps around the block, you'll be busting windows out of the convenience store in no time. With no supervision. Um, this is so good. <laughs> We're at the halfway point. I'm gonna be struggling to eat the rest of this. I'm gonna. I ain't no sissy boy. But this is a lot more food than you think. Once again, thank you guys for the support lately on the channel. It's crazy. You guys are hitting thumbs up. You're commenting below. You're tagging me on social media. You're making my recipes. Seriously, thank you. Let's keep this going, man. As long as the support's there, I will keep making recipes. I will keep pumping these videos out. We're just gonna keep having an anabolic good time. Who needs drugs and alcohol when you can make a bazooki and eat it with your puppy? As always, if you have the RJF cookbook, link in the description. Get your updated 
copy. I've been adding even more recipes. A lot of these recipes I make a week before they ever hit the channel and they're in the cookbook. So you get a little jump start on some of these if you're, if you're feeling froggy. Like I said, you get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. My pasta would be the best investment you ever made, man. Does it get you in the kitchen? Does it get you eating healthier? Does it get you eating good food? Does it get you spending less eating now? I mean, in my opinion, it sounds like it's gonna pay for itself. And if you want me to make you like an exact meal plan, you want me to tell you exactly what you gotta do, right? Down to the gram, how to weigh it, how many calories to eat, all that stuff, check out my site, RemyJaysFitness.com. I can make you a plan, I'll make it so easy. All you gotta do is do it. You literally just gotta do it. That's half the battle with anything in life, right? We all have these ideas, we have things we wanna achieve, we have goals that we set. And what keeps us from accomplishing them? Not taking action. Every time, if you take the right actions, you get the right reactions. But you're never gonna get any sort of reaction unless you take an action. Think about it. Smash thumbs up button, comment anything down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, guys, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. I'm taking this with me.